So the tech command is a really interesting command. Tech is essentially cat in reverse, right? So the cat command is used to concatenate files together or to print the output to standard output. And tech works in a very similar manner, but it does it in reverse. For example, if I cat my dot bash RC, it just prints out my bash RC to standard output. If I up arrow and instead of cat, I do a tech, it also prints the contents of my bash RC to standard output, except it does it in reverse line order. This is line one, this is line two, this is line three, and so on and so forth. So let me cd into this test directory that I have on the system. And if I ls, you can see I've got these files here, file one, file two, file three. And if I cat file one, file two, and file three, they each contain three lines. File one contained three lines, one, two, and three. File two contained three lines, four, five, and six. And file three contained three lines that contain the strings seven, eight, and nine. So that was me concatenating all three of those files together to get one output. Now, what if I tech these files? What will happen? Well, wouldn't it just start with nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one? No, that's not exactly how this works. If I tech this, it does the files in order. So file one is first, but it does it in reverse line order. Three, two, one. And then the next file, file two, six, five, four. And then file three, nine, eight, seven. So hopefully that makes sense because that may or may not be what you expected out of that output. Sometimes when you're using the tech command, you want to print something to standard input, but you want it in reversed order. For example, let me clear the screen here. If I do a print F and I do this here. I'm going to print one and then new line two and then new line three and then new line. And then if I pipe that into tech, what does it print? It prints three, two, one, where without the tech, obviously it just prints one, two, and three. Now, sometimes you want to specify a particular kind of separator. So tech by default uses new lines as separators when it's concatting things together. But if you want to specify a particular separator, you can use the dash S flag and the way this works, dash S, and then you specify the separator. So so instead of you know the new line break, you could specify uh, another character or a string like end or done, you know something like that, and you know whatever uh, programming kind of words maybe. Uh, if you want to, you can also specify a regex, but you need to tack on dash r for regex dash s for separator, and then a particular regular expression. And I can show you that one in action as well. So let me get this regular expression here. Let me paste that there, tack dash R dash S, and then this regular expression, which if you're new to these, this may look confusing, but this is rather simple. I want you to match every character that's an X or every character that is not an X. So that's every character in the file, right? That's literally every character in the file. And I specify, in this case, file one, which contains three lines, one, two, and three are the strings on each line. So if I do this, you can see what it does. It actually reverses the entire order, not just the lines, but the characters themselves, because it takes every character and reverses it, right? So you get the whole document in reverse. One last flag I want to mention is tack dash B. So dash B, what this does is it uh, uses a separator before each file rather than after each file. And the separator by default's the new line separator. But if I do tack dash B file one, you know, we get three, two, and one in reverse order like you would expect. But you've got a, a weird situation where one should have had a line break after it, which should have actually broke the line where you would expect. But we t specified with dash B to have the line break, the separator, before the word, which in reverse is after the word now. So that's a little bit of what you can do with tech. If you want to learn more, type man tech in the terminal to read the man page.